Hello, my name is Napoleon and welcome to the first episode of my Valheim Let's Play. Um, let's get straight into it and start creating a character. Okay, I think I want, like, really long hair. Well, not super long, but longish. Mm, that doesn't look very Viking, little ponytail. Is that the only hair? Nah, side swept. Okay, well that looks like it's all the options. I think I'm gonna go with... Ooh, I don't know. I think I actually, now that I look at it, I might want to have um, some shorter hair. So I think I'll go with... Actually, I think this one's a good one. Oh, no, actually, that one. I like that one. That's a good one. And a beard. Of course, we need a huge beard. Mm -hmm. One of them is like that crazy beard. beard. When did they fix that? I think they did. Well, I'm going to go with the gigantic beard. Although, I do think this does clip through padded armor in the late game, so I might actually switch that out for a smaller beard, maybe. Yeah, I rather like that one. Okay, and hair tone. Um, let's say, like, I think that was a, nice, a good color. Like, darkish, but real brownish. Blondness. <laughs> mm, nah, let's keep him brown. Okay, and skin tone. I'll keep it where it was. Okay, and his name will be uh, Tor Leaf, which I think means um, Son of Thor. Okay, so now let's start a new world. I'm gonna go with a completely random seed. And I'll call this one Ravenheim, which means Ravenheim um, in Norwegian. And I think that's due to the little, I wanna pay my respect to the little raven that carries you. Here we are with the not small raven, but gigantic raven. And I must say, this game is probably one of the most beautiful, but also ugly games I've ever played. I don't know how to describe it, but like, something about the graphics. It's, it's so pretty, yet really not that great graphics. And we have Touchdown in Valheim. And there's Hugin. Yes, let us see where Ike Thier is. Okay, pretty close. We spawned. Ah, go away. Hugin can be useful in your first playthrough, but after like three playthroughs, he gets really quite annoying. Well, the sea is quite beautiful. Like I said before, this game is so beautiful, yet so ugly. Okay, there's a Grey Dwarf. Let me see if I can kill it. Or actually, it's a Grey Link. Ah, okay. oh, no, he- Oh! God, I thought he killed me for a second. Ah, oh, forget how it is when you start the game out. You have nothing. You gotta start all over again. There we go. And a uh, punch, too. Very nice. And some resin. And mushrooms. I'm gonna mark these on the map, because it, it's very useful later in the game. I'm gonna punt this grayling <laughs> drop kick it. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, I'll craft myself a club so I can finally defend myself against those evil gray dwarfs. I want to get a stone axe. I'll also put that there so I can eat some mushrooms. Another gray dwarf. Well, this time I'll show it. My club. Oh, I forgot this one doesn't have a secondary attack. Now I have enough uh, stone and wood to create myself an axe. And I'll start getting chopping. I think my first order of business is to get a base going. So I have enough for a hammer, and now I'm gonna have to go exploring. Uh oh, two gray dwarfs. Or graylings, actually. Ah, I can beat him. <laughs> oh, satisfying. That was satisfying. Except for Hugin is not. Get out of here. And dear, oh, 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 come on, come on. Ah, oh, dang, that would have been close. That would have been close. And I think I found a uh, shipwreck, which I can later explore. So I'll put a little marker there. That's not how you spell shipwreck. Shipwreck. There we go. Wow, I just managed to sneak up on a dare and I just killed it. And that'll make my life a lot easier because I don't have to get a bow then. Or actually, no, I still do. Because I have to 
sacrifice more deer to Ike there. He was really quite easy. I think I'll you can I'll just get him uh beat him as fast as I can. In fact I might even get around to beating him this episode. Who knows? Oh, and more mushrooms. I have found a little house, and I hope this one has uh, a beehive in it. Also that tree looks really quite weird. Some strange terrain generating going on here. I wonder if I can climb it. Oh, I can't. That would have been cool, though. Well, unfortunately, there was no beehive in here. There is a nice little chest. With, mm, it's not super valuable. But, yeah, let me take these. It does have some gold, maybe. And I can convert this into a temporary little house. So let me build a little workbench. I'll repair it. Uh, there we go. It's actually a pretty good house. I don't. I might need not even have to make a house for a long time until I have to get to the Black Forest. And now I just have to fix this up. All right, like that, and like that. There we go. And maybe add a little window here. Let me see what I can do. Maybe I can. Yeah, I think this will just have to do for now. And I know I'm wasting wood, but it's just for the sake of pretty looks. I am going to be living here for a while, after all. I'll have to add a little door here. Can I even walk through that? Yeah, I can, but barely. And also, there's another gap here. Let me get rid of that. And I'm also out of wood, so I gotta go chopping again. Valheim's one of those games where I really don't mind having to grind for a bit of wood. It's just, it's so beautiful. And it's so satisfying. I think I'll make a little fire pit right here. Get rid of that and that. And then... Where's the... There it is. Campfire. That should... Let the uh, smoke out. Here, if I had the... Uh... There we go. Very nice. I can build a bed next to it. Ah, why do I keep taking out my uh, torch? Oh, need more wood. Alright, now it's time to make my uh, little bed. I don't know where I'll put it. I think maybe right next to the fire. Sure, put it right there. Oh, and there's Hugan. Because I gotta change my bed. It's not positioned correct. And there we go. Maybe we'll give it a little. Uh, Oops. I don't know what you'd call that. Maybe a little protection from the fire. And a little privacy too. I don't think I need to put in a door in, but I could put in a little, uh... Like that? Yeah, I like that, I like that. And I can talk to Hugin. Yes, Hugin, what do you want? Okay, I already knew that. I've played this game many times. I do wish there was some way I could disable Hugin, even though I do love him. Um, he can get quite annoying sometimes while he's having to click him. Now we roast some delicious meat. And the meat is done. Now I will take a rest. And the first night has been completed. And I'd say we have a very nice little house and a very nice little map and world. Tomorrow, well... Now, I guess, today, we will beat Ikthir, the first boss. Okay, I need to do some extra exploring to find some wild boar so I can get some leather scraps for my bow. Beautiful sunrise with the world tree. I think it's called... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. In the background. What the? Oh no! It got foggy. <laughs> right as I was gonna compliment the beauty of this game. I found a deer, I'm gonna try and sneak up behind it. Oh, what? How did it see me? Oh, it must have been, must have smelt me. Oh, it's getting its in the water. That was a stupid move. Coming for you. Come on. Yes. Oh, crap, there's a gorilla in there. How did it, okay. How 
How is it so? How is it not drowning? Its head was literally just under under the water. Okay, I wonder if I can get these guys. Probably not, since I'm like right behind it. Or maybe? Come on. Yes. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, but the other deer did see me. Oh, and that one. Two deer hide and two deer meat. Excellent. I found another deer. But unfortunately, the wind is blowing right towards me. And that gigantic flurry of little sparks as I leveled up should also hit them. But I guess it didn't, because deer are death, I guess. And another railing. And here's, um... I can't remember what his name is right now. Um, oh, that's the Hunter's King. What is his name? <laughs> He's not okay. I, c I can't remember the name, but I will not be fighting him right now. I think I first need a bow, and then maybe I can consider fighting him. But there are no pigs on this entire island. Let's look a bit more in inland. There's also a big river here, so I'll have to check that out. Finally, I found some boar. Stop for a second to actually attack you. Alright, there we go. And how many do I need for a bow? Actually, it won't tell me that. But I am going to get some flint tools and a bow and arrow, and then I'll, cons I'll start fight. I'll, s I'll fight Ekthir. And I return home, finding only one boar. But this is good, because now I can cook some food. Actually, gonna make a second cooking rack so I can actually cook more. So I lied. I guess I am didn't manage to get enough boar leather to make a bow on the second day, but I will do it on this day. Today I will beat Ikthir. Oh, okay. I came across the Black Forest. Maybe I don't want to go in there just yet. Alright, so I have enough for my bow, so I'm going to return to my house and craft myself a bow and some arrows, and then it's go time. Ooh, and I found what I think is a beehive. I don't know what happens when you go up to them. Uh, well. Okay, looks like they poison you. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know how to get them down. Uh, maybe if I destroy the block behind it. I don't have enough uh, wood for a crafting bench. Okay, let's try this. It's gonna actually let me place one. Alright, there we go. It didn't appear to work, and I'm still getting hit. Oh. Dang, this takes a lot of this. Did a lot of damage. Okay. So, hit it. Not really doing it. Um, I'm gonna get out of here before I die. Ah! Oh! Well, that's a great dwarf. Yeah, I'm gonna run. They're much more powerful than Greylings. And they've got projectiles. Okay. Run, 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 run. Dude, are these things gonna stop following me eventually? They've been chasing me for like- Ah! God, not these things too. Eat food. I need to run. Uh, okay, if I cross the river, they'll, they'll stop following me. I hope they can't swim. Okay, I, I think I'm safe. Uh, nope, okay, they can swim. Hmm, well, I didn't want to fight them, but I, if I do, I'll do it right next to my base. So if I die, I can get a quick respawn. Or actually, no, I think, I think torches, uh, scare them off, right? Or is that graylings? Ugh, fine. Ugh, it's so hard to fight. No, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna kill them. There we go. 
if I didn't have to die at anyway. And a bow is built. Nice. And some arrows too. There we go. Let me put this right here. Get rid of these. Don't need them. And now I need... I think I'll probably need to want a wood shield and a spear. So I need more leather. Oh gosh. I just went, came back from leather hunting. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go boar hunting again. Okay, maybe coming here was a bad idea. I've encountered a horde of gray dwarfs. I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I hope they won't chase me forever. I'll just eat, so... Uh, crud, okay. I, I think they're just going to chase me forever. How far am I from my house? Oh wait, oh wait, I'm back here. Okay. Maybe I can fight them off. I don't know, three? I think the third one left. Okay, I'll try it. So, I, I do like so much damage. Okay, yeah, I think I'm just gonna run. There's so many. And there's some boar now, great. Uh. Oh. Ah! Everything's attacking me. The creatures of the forest are working against me. They're so mean. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I'm out of stamina. Uh oh. No, I'll shoot them from a distance. That always works. And my club's also about to break. If the club breaks, then I'm dead. Twelve damage? That's insane. Uh, okay, my club broke. Oh, I still have my axe. Okay. Oof. That was close. A little too close. Let me go back and see if there's any boar left, because I would like to get them. Uh, yep, there's one. Shoot it from a distance. Oh my! His bows are so awful. But I did get him, so that's good. Now I can finally craft my flint spear. And I need a little bit of more wood. And... Oh, two more leather scraps! Okay, well... Guess I really do need this shield. But let me first get rested. I suppose I lied again. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll beat Ike Fear. Found a two-star boar. So this one took a lot of damage from me. And this is a beautiful little village right here. Might make my base here sometime, because the Black Forest is right nearby. And I saw a mountain somewhere over there. So this would be a good area. And it's right near the water, too. Yeah, I'll mark this place down. Okay, I'm finally back. I can finally make my wooden shield. And now, it's just time to fight Ichthyr. Let me repair all my items. Get rid of the junk. Whatever. No, I need to build a chest. Never mind. I guess I need to sleep again. Oh, but my fire is out. It'll let me access the fire. There we go. Cook some food while I sleep. And I guess I lied once again. I'll have to fight Ichthyr tomorrow. Or today, I guess. Since I am dealing with a whole ton of in, uh, inventory clutter, I'm gonna build a little storage system over here. Nothing too fancy, just a couple of chests. And actually, never mind, just one chest. The sign. And I think my biggest cluttering thing right now is food. So I'll call it food. I'll keep a little bit of food for me, but I don't think I need ten. All of this. It is time to fight Ichthyr. Let me eat my food. Get all the bonuses. Wait for my health to go up a little bit. Alright, uh, full health. Let's do this. Let's grab my... 
trophy. Oh my. Right when the moment I was going to start the boss fight. Alright. Here goes. He's summoning over there. Okay, I think I'll start, first start shooting with my bow. There he is. Okay. Oh, dang. I forgot about that bonus, that little ability. And shoot him enough. And probably kill him, although I think no. I will have to go into um, I'll, I'll have to go into hand to hand melee. I don't think I even made enough arrows. I should have thought about that. I feel like my music is off. There should be some loud music right now. Ooh. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh my god, okay. He's right behind me. I love the soundtrack for this game too. It's, it's such it's just such a good game. It's also really immersive. Like, I don't know. The graphics they're just they're they're weird, but in a good way. I'm not even making barely a den. I have the arrows. Oh, crap. No, I can't. I'll have to get up close. That is why I made my spear. Damage. Yeah, I think I got this. Now he's starting to take a lot more damage. I wonder why. Oh, it could be close to the arrows. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, yeah. Now my arrows. Oh! survive this. I'm really quite annoying if I make it this close just for him to kill me. Okay. Slowly getting my health back up. I think once I'm at 60, I'll go back at him. And hide behind one of these pillars. break. I think my, my armor broke. Okay. I'm now a naked dude running around. I'm just gonna kill him. Oh. That was a lot of damage. And that was even more damage. Okay. He's so close to dying, but so am I. Wait, I think I'll just throw my spear at him. Throw it and run, and try to collect it. Now, weaponless though. Okay. Run, run, run. 
good. Ooh, okay. Good thing I had my damn it, I'm one of these guys. Ah Where's my spear? Oh no, I don't have the stamina. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on that. Alright, I think I can win this. But I can't get too cocky. Like that, that was pretty dangerous actually. Okay, good, 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 good damage. There we go! <laughs> right in the water. his antler, which means I can get my pickaxe. And next episode, uh, we'll go into the Black Forest and start mining and get some better armor and better tools. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.